Thank you so much, Dick. Um, this is um, a very, very, very special honor. Uh, to be classed in the elite ranks of other Massachusetts notables, such as John Kennedy, Tip O'Neill, my friend and counselor, Father Brian Hare, to be listed next to Dorothy Day and Sister Helen Prejean and your own Father Ted, that's truly humbling. As uh, was alluded to, Laetari means to rejoice, and I've had ample time during my 40 years to rejoice. I've witnessed diseases eradicated, economic challenges overcome, and millions benefiting, malnutrition levels improved, information and communication technologies transforming the environment for the poor. I witnessed independence and peaceful transition in certain states. And I want to talk to you this morning very briefly about one success which I participated in very directly. Last July, I had the distinct pleasure to be part of the official U.S. delegation to the independent celebrations for the Republic of South Sudan. The struggles of the people of South Sudan have figured in my life significantly over, 40, over the last 40 years. I've witnessed the bombing of villages in the Nuba Mountains. I've seen the total destruction of towns in that country and the pain that people have suffered. I've spent nights talking about U.S. foreign policy with southern Sudanese military commanders and evening dinners with parish priests who told me more about Sudan's history and Catholic Relief Service's history in South Sudan than I ever knew. And I spent time listening to the pain and, and suffering of families who were torn apart by decades of war. Freedom, liberty, independence, came as a result of a struggle and a lot of pain on the part of those people. Not a person at that Independence Day celebration, which was held in Juba, Sudan, and there must have been over 100,000 people participating, were without the torment of personal family loss from the years of struggle. They knew the cost of their freedoms that they had struggled for for so long. And I took particular pride that I was able to represent our government, our church, the efforts of so many at Catholic Relief Services who stood with the people of South Sudan for decades. It was a moment of pride to stand with Archbishop Polino of Juba as he attended the ceremony to represent what the Catholic Church had done, being in the forefront of the drive towards the comprehensive peace accord. He, his fellow bishops, and so many other Catholic and Anglican leaders were instrumental in bringing about that positive change. Religious leaders there, as in so many other places around the world, East Timor, South Africa, Kosovo, were in the front of the effort for freedom and independence. And I took particular pride that I was able to represent you, a guy from Boston College trying to represent you. <laughs> you, the students and the faculty and the staff of this great university, for the demonstration of solidarity that you exhibited in the fall of 2010. Parents, you may not know this, but there were many efforts that led to that celebration in Juba, South Sudan, in last July. The efforts took place in South Sudan. They took place in Washington, at the United Nations, and capitals around the world. And one of those efforts took place right on this campus. What you did here at Notre Dame in opening your arms to the beleaguered visiting bishops of Sudan who came to appeal 
for America's concern and America's attention to their plight in their forgotten part of the world. You heeded their call to action. CRS and the U.S. Bishops' Conference brought three Sudanese bishops to the United States. We chose to bring them to Notre Dame as one of the key public events. Following the Sudanese bishops' visit to this campus, the Notre Dame community, Father Ted, coaches such as Mike Bray and Kevin Corrigan of the basketball and lacrosse team, student body president Patrick McCormick, all rallied faculty, students, staff, as well as clergy and community members to come together as a university to publicly advocate to the highest levels of our government to support a peaceful referendum process. Through numerous campus events, prayers and petitions, and the incredible Playing for Peace rally, your community stood together with one clear voice in support of peace in South Sudan. You sparked an energy that inspired campuses across the country. That spark also had an impact on our own government. It had an impact on the attention they began to give to the peaceful transition to independence in South Sudan right after those bishops left here. I was told by one very highly placed member of uh, the administration that when those bishops left here and went to Washington to make their appeal, it was a game changer, a game changer. Now, as you move into a new phase of your life, and hopefully you find a job or pursue graduate study, hopefully not have to move back home to mom, well, that's hope. I want you to remember what you did for those people thousands of miles away. You helped them attain their political freedom, the freedom to be who they wanted to be, to practice their religion as they decide to practice it to have the liberty to make their own decisions. Today, I'd like to leave you graduates with the encouragement that as you step off this campus into a different world than exists here, you remember what you did for those suffering and beleaguered people of South Sudan. You're going to be successful. And hopefully, you're going to have much joy in the attainment of your success. After four years or more here, I believe it's safe to say that you've got a broader concern for others, particularly those less fortunate, here and around the world. But I'd like you to remember what you contributed to that peaceful transition in South Sudan. You helped people very directly, people who fought hard and suffered and sometimes died for their liberties. You also understand something about the value of involvement in service, service to others, and the promotion of a just society. Your time here at Notre Dame has blessed you with both a great education and a profound and enriching experience. And for that, you can rejoice. Go out there and make a difference in the years ahead. Congratulations to all of you.